In New York State, investigators plan to conduct door-to-door -door searches today further to the east as they continue to search for two killers who escaped from a supermax prison. As Philip Mena reports, many residents remain on edge with the men still on the loose. Joy. For the first time, investigators revealing what prison worker Joyce Mitchell discussed with detectives during those days of interviews before her arrest Friday night. District Attorney Andrew Wiley telling ABC News she says she planned to meet the escaped inmates at the powerhouse near the prison the night of their escape without knowing where she was even headed, only told it was a wooded area about seven hours away where a four-wheel drive vehicle would be needed. Wiley also revealing Matt and Sweat were rehearsing their plan for five weeks, asking Mitchell to bring them tools and glasses with headlights as early as last December. And now ABC News has learned authorities believe one or both escapees had a cell phone in prison. Police say Mitchell has been cooperative since admitting herself into a hospital on the day of the escape, talking with investigators throughout the week. Law enforcement was trying to get as much information as possible from her because once she's charged, she'll hire a lawyer and she won't speak any further. Make sure you look. Miles surrounding the prison, known as Little Siberia, armed prison guards and state police, along with search dogs, still looking where the escaped killers might be. At the Canadian border, cars normally only checked leaving Canada, now being inspected leaving the United States, while these killers are still on the run. If they have not escaped the area or they have not availed themselves of shelter, you've got to assume they're cold, wet, tired, and hungry, but I would uh, advise and remind the community uh, and the residents that that makes these individuals even more dangerous and desperate.